Welcome back to my channel. It is Valentine's Day 2024 and we are out here in the <laughs> the liberal cesspool that is St. Petersburg. Now according to research, women say they prefer a man who is unvaccinated. Now we're not going to discuss the vaccines today. We're not going to talk about mRNA, but I wanted to put myself out there to see if any women in St. Petersburg are looking for a single and unvaccinated gentleman. Now I've had a similar sign in past Valentine's days, but I didn't film a video for some reason, so we're doing it this year. So let's see if we could find a last minute date, any woman who might want a single and unvaccinated gentleman this Valentine's day. And uh, you guys know the drill. If you guys want to support my work, give sengo.com slash Adam Francisco. I am the only man that I know of fighting a terminal illness every day, still fighting for the Constitution, fighting for the future of this country, and fighting for Trump. And I do want to just give a quick footnote. If today seems like a low energy day, it's because I feel like shit today. So still drag myself out here to uh, put together a video and uh, let's, let's see what happens. Are you ladies looking for a uh, last minute Valentine's date? I'm single and unvaccinated. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Here, I'll take a picture. <laughs> yeah, I'm single and unvaccinated. If you guys need a date, it's Valentine's Day. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want the I didn't want the COVID vaccine. No, seriously, you're lying. I have a young friend that has work acquaintance, and he was all engaged, and they found the girl's vaccine. Like, uh-uh. Yeah, it's they say hard. they say it's we one of the biggest turnoffs through. today. Seriously? There's only there's only 15 percent of people that are unvaccinated in America. 15 percent. That aren't. That aren't. That it was one third. I thought No, eight over 80 percent did get at least one shot. Wow. Yeah. I did. Well, high five. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah, God bless Have Valentine's Day. Do you go to church? No. I'm, have. It's I'm Jewish. I don't practice. I'm not religious, though. You guys missed it off camera, but that skater girl <laughs> rolled her eyes on me. They didn't like the uh, the unvaccinated part, I guess. Any chance you're looking for a single and unvaccinated gentleman this Valentine's Day? No problem. Are you ladies looking for a last minute Valentine's date? I'm both single and unvaccinated. <laughs> My brain is impenetrable. They spent a trillion dollars on ads to try to convince me to take the COVID vaccine. And I still said no. I'm one of the 20% remaining unvaccinated men in America. That's crazy. That's crazy to think about. So I love your outfit on Valentine's Day. You look you look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. What do you think about my sign? I'm trying to find a date today. Thank you. <laughs> single. I didn't get the COVID vaccine. Well, uh, yeah, single and unvaccinated. So I want women to know that I'm available and I didn't get the COVID well, vaccine. Well, let them be attracted to you and then you tell them. So what do you think about my sign, though? Is and it, is and it, you can go get vaccinated anywhere. Well, I don't want to get the COVID vaccine. Why? I just, I don't, I don't, I just don't want to. Yeah. So I didn't do it. Do you think I have a chance today? Of finding a lady? You had some roses? I didn't, I don't have any roses. They're expensive. I don't have that money in this economy. You might. If you Joe did. Biden's killing me. If you do, you're probably going to get two or three of them because they'll all be together. So I need to get some roses, you're saying? No. Okay, good. I'm just talking about the women. Oh, okay. They'll all be out together. Yeah, I'm looking for, yeah, it's mostly groups today, people. Right, yeah, I'm always some old part, so. <laughs> well, God bless you. Have Valentine's Day. When it comes to dating, does yeah. vaccination status mean anything to you? Um, like, do you care if your man is vaccinated against COVID or not? I do. So do you want him to be or not to be? I want him to be. Because most research says women actually don't want the man to be vaccinated oh, really? against COVID. So you believe in bodily autonomy? Freedom to choose? Yeah, I do. So what are your thoughts of, of, of Joe Biden essentially forcing the country to get vaccinated or be fired? Um, I don't think that's happening anymore. Not anymore, but yeah. at the peak it did. He, he there forced was a companies. lot of things that happened during COVID that I don't agree with yeah. legislation-wise. Yeah. Um, because I just feel like it's all been thrown out the door now. So and why I just, it started um, to begin with? I just don't think that we should for, forgive and forget. We need to remind people what they did to us. That's, that's true. And this is why we have an election coming up. Mm -hmm. I totally support Donald Trump mm -hmm. because he gave us the freedom to choose. He never mandated the vaccine. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And people are forgetting mm -hmm. what Joe Biden did to this country. Mm -hmm. So we need to vote out Joe Biden this election. All right. I can't vote, but I, I why can't you vote? Your I, I am, I'm not a citizen of this country. Oh, are you trying to be one one day? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Yeah. You got here legally? I did. Yeah. I'm actually a student. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good. Then I have a lot of respect for you. Thank you. I'm very anti-illegal immigration. I, I respect yeah. your um, moral. But I hope that you are be able to become a citizen one day. Me too. Awesome. It's a great country. God Thank bless you. you. Happy Valentine's Day.
I'm a single guy. Do you think my sign helps or hurts me to find a date this Valentine's Day? Uh, I think it would honestly, it wouldn't make no difference to honestly. I'm not vaccinated against COVID. I think the dogs help. The dogs help? More, <laughs> more than the sign? Yeah, oh, Okay. All right, thank you guys. When it comes to dating, does vaccination status matter to you? Because I'm single and unvaccinated against COVID. So does that matter? Because I heard a lot of women want an unvaccinated man today. Oh, so you prefer dating a vaccinated man? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right, that makes sense. Have a great Valentine's Day. Yep, I'm single and unvaccinated. Not only am I unvaccinated, I'm Latino. We don't miss. Latinos don't miss. Seriously, ladies, if you're looking to have a baby this Valentine's Day, are going to procreate and move forth and rebuild society. By the way, guys, there's going to be two versions of this video. One version is going to be exclusively on X and one version is going to be on YouTube. The X version is going to be the free version where I could say whatever the fuck I want to. But the YouTube version is going to be cleaned up, polite and PG. So you saw my hat, sir. Yes, sir. And what'd you think about it? I love that hat. What do you think about my sign on this Valentine's Day? Single and unvaccinated. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I'm trying to find a date. I don't, you know, I'm trying to look for a woman who might want a single and unvaccinated gentleman. I didn't either. I won't either. Let me shake your hand. Or my kids, or my wife. You know why? Or my you, dogs. Because you're a high T man. You know why? Yeah, what's well, true? Can you confirm that your husband's a high testosterone man? <laughs> oh, I believe I am. It seems like you are, sir. Extremely high. I always, I always tell people that. Uh, and what are your thoughts on the St. Petersburg demographics? I, as far as talking politics, to, I think it's well. I think it's terrible, actually. I call it a liberal cesspool. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know, I call it a toilet that needs to be flushed. <laughs> Full of shit. I love this bed. All right, brother. I'll see you at the polls. God yes, bless you. Trump. Will. Nice, to meet, nice you. to meet you. Yeah, when they had voting here last year, they said you couldn't wear Trump shirts in. Well, that's yeah. You're not allowed to wear any. You can't. So campaign. I took a big Trump sticker, put it on my bumper sticker, put it on my shirt. Oh, that's amazing. And I walked in. She goes, "You can't wear Trump shirts in here." I go, "It's not a Trump shirt. It's a T-shirt." I said, "That's a bumper sticker." That's great. Got one on my truck too. And I just walked away. That's great, I said, man. You know who I'm voting for. That's right. Yep. They tried to discourage me. Bye, right, brother. Thanks. You too. All right, guys, we're trying a brand new restaurant today for the first time in uh, St. Petersburg. We're at a place called Fresco's. And uh, it's got a beautiful view here right on the water, the marina. And uh, this is a seafood focused restaurant. So I'm probably going to do a, uh, a bowl of lobster bisque, which always gets the engine going. I love lobster bisque. And then some kind of uh, sandwich, maybe some Baja fish tacos, maybe even a lobster roll. They got everything here. So we'll see what happens, guys. This place looks delicious. So with the guidance of my waiter, I did get the uh, lobster bisque, and then I also got the hot lobster roll. So I'm really excited for this meal, guys. I am starving. It's like almost 4 p.m. That looks so freaking good. Mm. So creamy, guys, and it's got little chunks of lobster inside the, uh, the bisque. That is a hot lobster roll, guys. That looks so good. Mm. That was really good. Well, today, guys, is going to be a relatively short video. I ended up uh, scheduling myself a nice one hour, actually no, 90 minute, deep tissue, shiatsu, relaxing massage. So I got to head out of here soon to make my appointment so that my Chinese masseuse can put me to sleep for 90 minutes and I can just relax and de-stress and just take a load off, you know? I don't have a girlfriend this Valentine's Day, so today's all about spoiling me I had a nice meal on the marina, lobster bisque, lobster roll, and now I'm going to get a massage. It's just a nice romantic day for one out here in Florida on this beautiful 75 degree, slightly breezy, sunny, cloudless day. I'm single and unvaccinated. Joe Biden's a hack. Joe Biden is a disgrace. Joe Biden is an abject failure. Joe Biden should be ashamed of himself. And Jill Biden, Dr. Jill Biden, should be ashamed 
that she married that man. He is a weak, low T, sleepy man who needs a rest. He is not a masculine man like Donald Trump. Guys, 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 who would you rather, Melania Trump or Dr. Joe Biden? Let me know in the comments. Who would you rather? Who would you rather, Melania Trump or Joe Biden? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. The answer is Melania Trump. Supermodel. Supermodel. The most attractive first lady we've had in the history of this country. A literal supermodel. Literal supermodel. And then she got no love from magazines. It's crazy. These same beauty magazines put Michelle Obama on the cover, but they couldn't put Melania Trump on the cover. What a disgrace. So I hope everyone's having a uh, great Valentine's Day with your loved ones. Hope that uh, all you gentlemen made sure you got your wife some roses, some chocolates, some jewelry, maybe a nice dinner reservation on this Valentine's Day. You know, and look, a lot of girls say they don't like flowers. They all like flowers. So buy your girl a flower today, all right? Trust me. Even if she says she don't want flowers, she wants flowers. Definitely getting a lot of strange looks today. People think that I'm a psycho because this is probably one of the highest vaxxed places in uh, Orlando, in uh, in Tampa, excuse me, in the Tampa area. I'm pretty sure 95% of people got the COVID vaccine, probably double boosted, triple boosted, quad boosted, non-covalent. They probably got the non-covalent, bivalent, whatever it's called. I'm just making up words at this point. Looking for a date? I'm single and unvaccinated. Are you ladies looking for a last minute Valentine's Day? Are you looking for a last minute Valentine's? I'm single and unvaccinated. I hear women want unvaccinated men today. All right, guys, so this is uh, not working out for me today. First of all, not a lot of chicas guapas out here today. That's the first thing. Very, very disappointed with the talent pool here today. But uh, secondly, these girls all want vaccinated pro-Palestine men. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up today. You know what to do. If you like the video, like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell to get notified every time I go live. And make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube has a habit of unsubscribing you guys from my channel. I guess it's part of the shadow ban, which they claim doesn't exist, but obviously it does. And I appreciate your support on gibsango.com slash Adam Francisco. I will see you guys soon. Happy Valentine's Day. Get laid, get paid, and God bless Trump.